Beavers. I hope you're okay and you've had a really good weekend. I'm Nicola. Hello. And I'm going to be your leader for this evening. So we've got a few little activities to do. We've got a game and then we've got an activity to do with bird watching, which I hope you're all looking forward to. So our first game is North, East, East, South, West. Now, I know a few of you might have played this game before, but we're going to quickly just run through it anyway for those that don't know how to play it. So there's a few actions that you guys need to learn. So if I say North, you're all going to point up North. If I say South, you're all going to point down South. If I, if I say East, you're all going to point to the East. And if I say West, you're all going to point to the West. Everyone got that? Brilliant. There's going to be some more as well. So we're going to add a few extra. So these are going to be captains coming. You're going to salute. Climb the rigging. You're going to stand up and climb the rigging. Man overboard. You're going to pretend that you're swimming. Okay. Walk the plank. And you guys are going to do 10 star jumps. And the last one is going to be scrub the decks. I'm going to do this action for me. Everyone got those? Brilliant. Let's give it a go. North. South, East, West. Brilliant. Everyone got those. So really, really good. Well done. Perfect. So we're going to add the rest of them in and see if we can all get them right. You ready? North, South, climb the rigging. Captains come in. East, scrub the decks. Brilliant, there's some really, everyone's putting a lot of effort into these, well done. So let's go for West. Man overboard. Brilliant, well done. Let's go scrub the decks. Walk the plank. East. South. North. West. Captains come in. Climb the rigging, scrub the decks, north, east, north, east, north, west. Oh, quite a few of you out there. <laughs> Perfect. Well done, everyone. So we're going to move on to our next activity, and that's all about bird watching. Now, this week is the big bird garden bird watch. Okay. And that's where lots of people either go out into their gardens or go for a walk and they have a look around and see what birds they can see outdoors, basically. OK, I'm going to quickly just share a presentation. I'm going to have a quick talk through to see what birds we'd normally see outdoors. So bear with me two seconds. Lovely. So hopefully you can all see my screen. Now, in the woods, what birds do you think we might see? Oh, I hear a few people shouting, shouting out. I heard an owl. Brilliant. Well done, yes. We would see owls in the woods. Any other ideas? You can always put them in the chat. Brilliant. Well done. Yes, someone did say woodpecker. Brilliant. Well done. There's lots of other birds as well in the woods. So if you have any more ideas, how about writing them down? Okay, how about in the zoo? What different birds do we think we'll see in the zoo? Again, lots of you shouting out, that's really good. I heard someone say penguin, brilliant. Parrots as well, okay? There's lots of different birds we can find in the zoo. Someone else shouted flamingos, I think, was that right? Yeah, we see flamingos as well. Okay, what about at the seaside? Which ones always steal chips, or at least they steal my chips, I don't know about everybody else. Seagulls, well done, okay? And also, you could see puffins as well. They're not that common. And, you know, they ha you have to be in certain places in the UK. But you could see a puffin as well. Okay, what do we think we all see in our gardens? Oh, again, lots of you shouting that. That's really good. Okay, you might see different things like a magpie or a great tit in your woods as well. There's also um, things like pigeons. Um, blackbirds, lots of different ones being shouted out there. So that was brilliant. Well done. So other ones, we've got pigeons, someone shouted robins. Okay, so there's so many different ones. Now, what we want you to do, okay, 
is we want you to pause the video in a few minutes and we want you to go and create your own bird. Okay, so you can do this two different ways. You can either get some pens and pencils and you can draw your own uh, bird. So you can choose any of the ones from the PowerPoint presentation or you can even invent one. Or you can use a household item. So you could use rubber gloves or anything else that you can find around your household that your adult will let you use and create a bird that way. So you can see what I've done here. I've used some string and I've used some paper clips and paper to make a robin. Okay, so if you want to pause the video now, have a go at that and we'll see you later. Brilliant, that's brilliant to see you guys back. Now, let's have a look at all your different designs. Oh, brilliant, I can see some pigeons. Oh, I can see lots of robins. That's really good. Oh, I can see a flamingo and a parrot. Brilliant, these are really, really good guys. Well done, I'm really impressed. What you might need to do is you could always, you could always get your parents to take a photo or your adults take a photo and share it with your leader or even share it on the group's Facebook page. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed today and I will hopefully see you guys next week. Have a good weekend and I will see you guys soon. Bye, beavers.